So guys, what's going on? So it's a new video. Today we are back in seven days to die. And last we left off. Well, time is winding down. Oh my god, it feels my mouse feels very like quick to move. It's probably because oh that was wild. I was just playing some CS:GO and my sensitivity is a lot lower in that. So this is gonna take a bit of getting used to. I should probably do something about my mouse. This is a tad bit ridiculous. Jesus. Anyways, uh, so we're just gonna be starting out today. I'd like to apologize first off formally. For not posting a multiplayer video today, uh, the kind of rationale behind that is that uh, we weren't able to get together. It uh, looks like the loot didn't respawn. We weren't able to get together to record any more. Uh, today we're kind of, we might want to, <sighs> I'm tempted to go to those buildings nearby, but at the same time, I don't know if I should do that because we are in pretty dire need of getting some uh, resources. I don't exactly remember why, but I remember that it was important for some reason. Was that a fucking dog I just saw, or was that a deer? I saw something out of the corner of my eye, man. Saw something. I'm ready with a shotgun in case push comes to shove. All right. Don't think push is going to become a shove today. Anyways, like I was saying, today. <laughs> Suck on it. Anyways, today we're just kind of going to be scavenging the area. Yeah, it was just a deer. Uh, scavenging the area, looking for really any place we can just kind of chill at. Uh, do we go after the deer? No. No, let's just kind of... Uh, yeah, we'll kind of do whatever work we can here. Uh, a road trip to the city is in order pretty soon. However, I don't think we're going to be doing that today because time is winding down. And I just kind of want to get a little bit of gathering done, possibly. Uh, how's our wood situation? We got a little bit of wood, enough to work with. Not really upgrade with, but enough to be serviceable. I hear some zombies getting pissed off at me. I'm not really finding... I feel like over here, at that little area there, that's going to have a lot of stuff. Because that seems to be kind of a thicker ridge, which leaves us some more room to find the materials. So we're just going to go ahead and run over there. But uh, like I did say... We were not able to record some more multiplayer for today, so this the way this is probably going to go of just the single player is going to be my backup in case multiplayer is not recorded. So we just just wanted to give you guys a heads up in regards to that, so you don't seem surprised or don't I don't want to leave you guys in the dark in regards to that. Uh, seems like something pretty important that I would like you guys to know. So that's my rationale behind it. Hopefully that is cool with you guys. Hopefully that isn't too angering for some reason. I know some of you guys enjoy single player a lot more. And some of you enjoy multiplayer with the banter and the undoubtable fact that some others are probably... Specifically Cage, who probably has a bit more knowledge than me in certain uh, areas when it comes to this game. But nonetheless, you know, everyone has their preferences and I completely respect that. However, uh, like I said, single player is just kind of be my time to have a little bit of face-to-face -face talk with you guys. Because then I can actually directly ask you guys questions, which I did have pre-prepared for today. I actually grew a brain... And realized that I should do that. <laughs> so, got a couple questions that I will get to in a bit. But for now, we're just trying to be nice, sneaky deaky, not alert too much attention towards ourselves. Go back to being nice, low key, undetected. Something's haunting us. I'm not entirely sure what. I hear it. What the hell? Is he stuck in the rock? I think someone's stuck in the rock. What the hell? Anyways, we're in pretty dire need of, uh, I think coal was one of the things we wanted to get. Uh, coal, iron would be good, it's not really necessary though. And uh, potassium, I think potassium nitrate, yes, 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 potassium nitrate is what we wanted so we could build the bullets. So really what we're just going to be doing now is being on the hopefully fruitful search that that's lead. You know what, I'm not going to complain, lead's lead. You know, I mean, it's not exactly what we're looking for right now, but as long as we're getting these resources, these are important resources, I want to try to get as many as possible for nighttime hits. This is why I kind of really like the area we did choose there. Seem also, it, I'm a lot happier now because of lead. I never really found, I don't think so at least, I never really found lead on the surface before, and now it seems to be a bit more common to the point where you can actually find it in a somewhat decent chunk of time, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Hopefully we can gather a decent chunk of resources before nighttime. Hey, that was taking a while to get. My God, uh, we're actually pretty tired. We'll drink up some golden rod. Try to keep our wellness up. Uh, what's our wellness currently at? 87. We're getting to the we're getting to the point where we should be. I think 100 is kind of the baseline what you start at. So hopefully 
we get uh, close to that. I think this, yeah, we're kind of in that veiny area that should have some of these goodies we're looking for. Uh, this, is that, I want to say that's iron? That's either iron or coal. I'm, I've never really been good at the whole uh, ore distinguishing thing. That was just stone, God damn it. That sounds like some iron. Anyways, besides the loud noises in the background, uh, like I said, multiplayer is still going to continue. Uh, hopefully we can have that up tomorrow. That is my hope for things. Uh, if that hope gets realized or not, it's not really my decision to make, but nonetheless, I do hope that uh, we can get that out tomorrow. be pretty excited for that because I, I love doing multiplayer with the uh, guys. It's really awesome to be recording with Cage again. I uh, really forgot how much of kind of this knowledgeable aspect he brings, whereas me and Royal usually are the uh, seemingly like we hate each other, and everyone thinks we hate each other too. Everyone thinks that he legitimately shits on my life every day, although everyone I don't think has yet realized the sheer amount of sarcasm that exists between us two. <laughs> Let me just say that. Trust me, me and him are like butt buddies. Uh, I won't say real life, because I've never really seen him in real life, but nonetheless, we're like, we're literally the equivalent of butt buddies over the internets. The ethernets, you know? So, uh, just kind of stop being on Royal. He's he's not as bad as you seem to be. There's a lot of you guys make him out to be. I, I don't know, I just kind of, I want to say something, because I feel like he gets a lot of hate. Uh, and, I mean, everyone's entitled to their opinion. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be mad at you if you're mad at Royal and or you don't in like them for some reason. So I mean, hey, everyone's entitled to their opinion. I have opinions on other YouTubers that I'm entitled to just as I'm sure you, that is right, you probably have opinions on other YouTubers. Hell, you might even think I'm annoying as shit and are just watching this video for some odd reason. In whichever case, thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, even if you do hate me, even if you despise me with the passion of a thousand suns, uh, nonetheless, I do appreciate you watching and uh, I mean, just I mean, I, I, it's just knowing you guys are watching, you know, it's a great feeling. Uh, it's about 8, so we should be running home soon, but I want some potassium nitrate. We're being hunted by something. What are we being hunted by? Oh, it's a stupid crawler. I should probably just, uh, I'll just melee him. Yeah, we'll just kind of smack him in the face, just pop. Oh god, that, that's some lag. That's some mistimed lag. There you go, crawler down. You had nothing on him. God damn leg. We got sexy ass nurse. What is up, baby? Oh, look at her. Damn, you so fine, girl. Plague nurse. More like sexy nurse. Hey, blood bag. That's not too shabby. Anyways, uh, is I this might be potassium nitrate. I think potassium nitrate is kind of the uh, lighter looking ore stuff. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I'm right. Okay, so I'm kind of starting to get a little bit of a clue when it comes to this stuff. God damn. God damn it. I'm, I'm hitting fucking grass. Are you joking me right now? It's a shenanigans anyways. All right. we'll, we'll get this iron. Then we'll hit the potassium to the right. And then we gotta get the hell out of dodge soon. Still undetected. Uh, yeah, things are not gonna be looking good for us. It's already... It's almost... What the? Oh. It's getting really dark. They're really close too. Alright, let's try to get like a couple more here. We gotta hurry up. Sounds like they're right above us. Shit. Uh, we'll go to like 8.30, then we're just gonna fucking book it home. This is gonna be a long night, to say the least. Oh, God. Oh, shit, that was collapsing. Still staying low-key, that's good to hear. Uh, we'll grab a couple of these. I don't want to get too entrenched in that vein. Alright, we'll just kind of uh, mark that on the map. I probably had a waypoint somewhere to... Uh, that's that's the way home is. Alright, we gotta book it to home. We got, uh, really zombies. I don't know the exact time the zombies start running. If I had to guess, it'd be 9 o'clock, but the sun is definitely setting. I mean, if you look at the... Shit, I just took a little bit of a fall. Uh, the sun is in the setting position. Me. I And if you look that way, it's starting a little bit darker, so... Oh, shit. I almost ran into some zombies. That would have been bad. Uh, so I have these couple of cabins. I do want to explore them. I, I think it's really cool that they do have these little just kind of random-ass cabins. Uh, kind of some cabin in the woods shit right here, so I'm excited to explore that sometime. We'll probably do that uh, I don't know if the next day I want to spend going to the city because I mean in all honesty There are a ton of good reasons to go to the city Mainly uh, the Shaka Messiah store, but what I think I'm gonna do is kind of stay in this area. Hopefully uh, 
resource gather, you know, check out these two houses. Um, my hope is that we can... What is it? My hope is that we can... My train of thought is derailing so badly right now. Uh, grab like an airdrop within the vicinity. Grab some resources and check out those two houses. That's pretty much my main goal for the next day. Uh, in the meantime, I do want kind of some uh, stuff cooking. I have my, I, I fully looted this town, right? I think so. I'm gonna have to take a glance back at my map. I think I've let. I feel like. I feel like I haven't though. I feel like one of these houses are still unlooted, unless that was. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna check if the back door to this is open real quick. If it is, that means I probably looted it. Yeah, it's unlocked. Just kind of. No, I haven't. Unless I just left shit in there. Uh, but there's stuff in there. I'm so confused. Did it respawn? I mean, everything's fucking empty for some. God damn it. I think it's just a glitch. I don't think there's. I don't think there's actually. Yeah. Cloth chest armor. What's with all the chest armor? Wellness going up. God damn. That's what I love to hear. Oh, yeah. That's what happened. And I didn't feel like breaking in through the front. Alright. Well, that's, that's something to do. Medicine cabinet. Nothing for all of them. You have to break in through that. Unless the front door is open. Which, again, could be a very distinct possibility. After this, I'm running home. I don't want to risk it too much. No, that shit's locked. Whatever. We'll break in. I'm fully confident in our ability to do so. Uh, we have food back home, right? Oh. Now that I think about it, this is a bit worrying. I'm not sure we really have too much food. Damn. Well, let's hope. Let's hope that's... Yeah. Oh god, we might be starving if not. Hey, that's another objective for tomorrow. Gotta go pig hunting. Make sure we don't die. Oh man, please tell me I got something. Uh, which one of these is the food chest? Why does everything say? Oh, I thought that said untouched. Oh, we got some. Oh, it's boiled and shit. Right, let's get to eating. It, it attracts zombies, All right? That's no biggie. We're just gonna kind of nom nom on the venison. I think eating stuff like venison, yeah, I think that helps our wellness too. Because those that's like legitimate food. Alright, let's look at the haul for today. What do we have? 8 lead ore, 5 potassium nitrate. Thank God for the potassium nitrate, man. Look at that. 50 potassium nitrate powder. It's going to take about 12 seconds. Then we will craft down the coal. Yeah, coal. I think we're going to have 50 each, which should equate to about 50 gunpowder. I'm not sure... Uh, lumps of coal. Is, is that how you make? Let me just check really quick. Gun powder? No? Oh, there we go. There's a space. Okay, we need lumps of coal. Let's get that crafting then. Uh, in the meantime, probably want to get the iron cooking. That will be a decent idea for the night. Uh, shit, do we not have the mold? Where do we put it away? I hope we just put it away. Please? Yeah, yeah, we got it. Nice, nice, nice. Anyways, now that things have kind of started to settle down, we're just kind of be doing little bits of micromanagement back home. We're trying to, uh, well, survive this shit. 24 pounds. Oh, my God. That's like, what? How much? How many iron ingots is that? That's going to be like eight ingots. Oh, my God. Yes. Just. This is amazing. Uh, we'll throw in the frames. Oh, man. Frames. Plenty. Get that shit cooking. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, not much. Uh, oh, we should get picking some more golden rod tea too. Do we have any coffee? I want to say we have coffee somewhere. I feel like we do. Do we? No, oh, we got his boiled pork and some eggs. Oh, we're really running low on food. Yeah, that's gonna be a pretty big necessity. Uh, it's the sound I like to hear. Sound of iron being made. Oh, that's a beautiful sound. In the meantime. Let's get all of our scrap. Uh, what do we need to craft bullets? Bullet. Oh, we gotta make the molds and shit. I forgot. Alright, alright. Well, we got the lumps of coal or whatever. Alright, we're gonna be messing with that then. Right? Yes? No? Maybe? Anyways, before anything happens, uh, this might be kind of hard because I'm gonna be multitasking something I really can't do. I didn't want to ask you guys your opinions 
Uh, we just need the bullet tips. I think we have bullet casings somewhere else. And we don't have the clay to make the mold, so that's a problem. Anyways, the thing I did want to talk about today is what do you guys think about this? It's just kind of an idea I had in the meantime since the last time I recorded. And I thought, you know what? Uh, I think I should share it with you guys. I really think you might find joy in it. <laughs> it might be a bit of a stretch, but hey, you never know. Anyways, uh, so what I was thinking is what would you guys think about the addition of actual beehives? in uh, the game because as is to my knowledge I don't think that there's actually beehives in the game I legitimately think it's just kind of like just just there I don't even know how to how do we do this is it that way there we go 500 gunpowder god damn it's gonna be bullets for days ah uh, yeah but as is currently I think it just kind of bees spawn in the uh, the worst biome known to man, where there are millions of dogs, uh, hordes of zombies that continually respawn, and bees. I think, as is, they just kind of keep respawning in there. So what I was thinking is that instead of that, they add the addition of actual beehives to the game. And you guys know how uh, the bees, how when you kill them, what am I going to do with that stone? Can I craft that or something? How the bees, when you kill... Oh, eight small stones. Dope. That'll be useful. Uh, with the bees, though, how you kill them, they drop honey. So what I was thinking is... Just hit my mic, sorry. Uh, instead of... They can still drop honey when you kill them, but this like kind of beehive you have to search for. Possibly even like something like a queen bee, but that's kind of stretching it. I mean, it just kind of... I mean, the beehive would be cool. And then this beehive would effectively... We also have this lead. We'll get that cooking. Uh, this beehive would effectively just straight up let you you can look for it and if you I don't know how to really incorporate it, like destroy it then there's a mound or maybe you could search it I didn't really think out the specifics and pretty much it's a gigantic stockpile of honey and uh, other bee related stuff <laughs> I'm not really sure to articulate that well but it's kind of the gist of what I was thinking uh, and I just thought that'd be kind of cool and with this kind of new Oh, oh shit, I should hurry up. Oh god, I gotta fight. Speak of the devil! Talking about bees, what do we hear? We hear bees. Oh my god. That is a lot of lead, though. Okay. We're gonna, we might be bringing hell upon ourselves. This is why I'm a bit worried. This is a lot of cooking. Also, when we hit day 7, I'm pretty sure that feral horde will come a-knocking. So we gotta stockpile our bullets and be ready to fend it off. As is. I mean... If we get that sniper, oh my god, it'd be amazing defending this place off. But yeah, and with the addition of this kind of new resource and a lot more accessible honey where you could actually go out and search for instead of having to manually kill bees, uh, with this new abundance of it, it'd be, it, I think it'd be kind of cool to serve as a potential ingredient to tea. Because, I mean, uh, everyone puts honey in their teas and I mean goldenrod tea would still be makeable you know but what you could do is if you add tea to your goldenrod recipe it makes it uh, even better for your wellness gives you even more just kind of added benefits also I th I hear some zombies fucking shit up oh shit oh fuck 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 we're turning that off we're turning that off Right now, right now, right now. It's gotta go, it's gotta go, it's gotta go. Shit. We gotta... Oh man, oh man, oh man. It's almost daytime, but we gotta cut the power. Cutting the power right now. Fuck, 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 fuck. They were running. Okay. Sounded like there was a good chunk of them, too. I don't hear anyone hitting, but... I saw some fat guys running around and shit. That's not a sight you usually want to see. Oh man. Oh. <sighs> Looks like we got kind of another objective for the next day, and that would be fortify this place so we don't get our shit pushed in when the inevitable happens, because we've been, we've been playing a bit of a kind of teeter-totter game with this heat map, and I'm feeling consequences are going to be hitting us pretty soon, so, I mean, day seven, that's going to be a big hill to overcome, and along with day seven, we're going to have, ah shit, I don't want to drink that. Uh, along with day seven, we're gonna have the problem that is going. Oh, hey, new lighting. Or the lighting changed. Uh, we're gonna have the problem that is just our kind of use of the heat map and systems. It sounds like they're swarming us. Oh god. 
Well, what a better way to end it off than in fear. So again, tell me what you guys think about this uh, possible honey idea and possibly how you would incorporate it, because I think it's pretty cool to make honey a lot more accessible. This is horrifying. Uh, make it a lot more accessible, add some wellness benefits, especially since they are trying to push this wellness system, kind of adding the honey to possible tea to make it even better for wellness. Uh, make it even better of an item, potentially. I think it's really cool. It kind of adds to the progression system. Because if you can like, conquer a beehive, there should be benefits to that. But uh, it's just kind of my idea. So again, tell me what you guys think. Tell me how you would incorporate it. And tell me uh, possibly anything else along the lines of that that you might want to see. But other than that, that is going to do it for me. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. As always, if you did, appreciate the like. And this is Sign out. Love you guys. See ya.